good morning welcome back to my channel okay so it is september 4th yes yeah, september 4th is the day after labor day it's a tuesday and you know today has been pretty good i had my coffee this morning um i got myself together so we're doing good now i was out of school thursday and friday and of course we were out monday for um labor day so it, everything is just always when i'm out i'm just kind of like i just have to get back used to what's going on so oh i don't have any earrings let me find my earrings i just feel incomplete without earrings and sometimes i do videos and i don't have earrings on and i'm just kind of like girl what are you doing with your life so i need to find me some earrings i usually put some in my bag for times like this and i forget them but um we had we did we did our saxon lesson this morning and it went really good um today we're on the letter h and we are coding and um coding uh vc words and i mean that's going as well as expected you know you got your ones that can kind of catch on then you got your ones that can't and they need extra support right now they are gone to um pe into the restroom so when we get back we'll finish our worksheet and then we will get started on just like a little activity because by it being and I've, i'm learning this now by it being the early part still of the school year they still are not equipped to just do lessons like a, a whole lesson sit down pay attention focus we do a lot of brain breaks. We have to do a lot of crafts, a lot of activities. Because some of the stuff is just, it's so much stuff that it's just kind of like, it, it goes over their head. They're just not quite ready for everything that I'm delivering. So, we'll probably do like a craft or something just so they can kind of have a, a moment of, you know, just a, a moment of uh, kind of like a break. I guess you would call it. But um here's one earring. So I just wanted to come in and check in. I never really do like um outfit other days or whatever, but I think I'm gonna start doing them. Now, at my school we have a dress code, we have a uniform policy uh for the teachers as well. And so we have to have um either black, blue, na black, navy blue khaki or white on monday and tuesday then wednesday thursday and friday is just professional dress that's a lot of them my door it's just professional dress and so today hold on somebody is at my door okay so that was one of my students he didn't know where the class was because the interventionist had actually come to get him to, uh while we were doing our saxon lesson and now they're going to PE and he was like, I don't know where the class at. But um so I sent them on the way. But we have a dress code. Now I can wear like a blue jean jacket or um a blaze or something like that. But our colors and I I think um I don't try to tamper with or play with the rules, but um I think the principal will let us get away with like um gray like a gray cardigan or something like that but i try to usually just follow the rules and don't have no problems because i remember when i first started she actually told me she was like miss roberts we're gonna have to have a talk about that because i knew the rule was black and white and navy and or khaki and so i had on a black and white striped dress i didn't know it was solid colors so the rule is solid colors anyway i think i'm gonna start doing like after the days or whatever so i'm gonna bring you all over here so you can actually see and uh i like to wear dresses at work and i used to didn't because i just felt like that they would be kind of like uncomfortable or in the way or whatever but i don't think i'm wearing this dress anymore because it is kind of uncomfortable in the way okay and this is not even a good spot let me see no this is not even a good spot let me take you over here i'm trying to find somewhere where i can sit y'all up but you can still see but um this dress it's a it's a cute little dress but it has like this lining in it this is going to be real ratchet. <laughs> I did to stand up in the chair. It has this lining in it. And it is. It keeps riding up. 
So remind me not to wear this anymore. But this is my just my little outfit of the day, I guess. And then I have my coach. Um, these are some coach loafers I got, and they are so comfortable. I had them for like. I think this is my third year with these shoes. My second or third year, and they are so comfortable. I got a brown pair, like a cognac color pair, and a black pair. And then just my blue jean jacket. I don't even have much jewelry on today. Just my ring and earrings, and that's it. But this is my outfit of the day. And I need to find like a better place to do these because I don't want to have to stand up in a chair every single time. And I got this jacket from Old Navy. I had this jacket a long time too. And then um, this dress I actually got from a store called Kato. I don't know if y'all have a Kato near your area, but I had it from a store called Kato. So, um, I had it for a while too. But I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. Um, it's nothing pressing that I just really need to do right now. We do have a MCAS uh, training at 10 o'clock and we're gonna go to that now i don't know how this really gonna go because my i need to know about mks which i pretty much know about mks but my um my assistant teacher is the one who takes them to be tested and she does it two at a time or that's the plan that they're gonna do them two at a time because a lot of my kiddos cannot use the computer and so we're just gonna have to work on using the computer and learning how to navigate a mouse and the cursor and all of that and it's it's a little stressful because the test is on the computer and they can't use the computer and so what she will probably end up having to do for some of them is like just telling them to point so what their answer is like listen to the earphones and point to what the answer is and she can move it for them but um at some point throughout the year they need to be able to know how to use a, a cursor use a mouse and use a computer so anyway we're gonna work on that and finish our Saxon lesson and I do have this really cute activity um, I really left it for them to do last week but I see that my assistant didn't do it she probably was like now Miss Roberts you know we ain't doing it <laughs> no. anyway but this right here and now I did mine in this cute like yo this is so stinking cute but uh oh, beats falling off. Uh oh. However, I don't know how. I don't know if I want to do this like a center or whole group activity. This is my coffee. You know, I have to have that. And then I did one with um uh, with noodles. So I have noodles and I have beads. And I don't even know if these gonna be enough beads. But hopefully it will be. I don't know. I might just do it for center activity. I'm not sure. But I had already wrote their names out and everything. And I left her a note because I know how it is when, you know, the teacher's out or whatever. And I try to be considerate. But I was like, you can either do beads or pasta or not at all. It's up to you. <laughs> so, I guess she opted for the not at all. That's cool though. Then I wanted to show y'all this. They, I left this activity while they were out. Um, oh, it's for octopus. And some of them turned out really, really cute. I mean, you, you know, you can only... Yeah, you know, all of them are not going to be, like, whatever. You know, like, Pinterest worthy, I guess you would say. But they are um, authentic work. And it is their coloring. It is their cutting. It is their pasting. And, you know, so you have to just take it for what it is. It's their work. That's, that's their work. And so, I like for them to do crafts like that just because... For one, they need to understand how to cut and glue, stuff like that. That's a given. But for two, it's just the authenticity of the work. Is They chose the colors. Now, of course, I had the pattern. And um, I'm pretty sure she helped them cut out the center. Because some of them can't understand to, like, 
fold it or puncture the middle and cut around they'll like cut right through the oh so you know stuff like that is understandable but it is their work and O for octopus oh octopus is our uh keyword for O in Saxon and so I'm, I'm really glad they had a chance to do that so I think I'm gonna stop rambling and I am going to just try to organize some stuff because like I said I was out Thursday and Friday and so everything is just kind of like you know or maybe it's like that in my head because actually when I got back she left everything in order so I think it's just me having to go through and see what they have done what they haven't done what I need for them to do or what I need to go back over just things like that and um that's really about it um it's still early it's just like nine it's just like um 9 11 so they have until 9 30 to come back to the room so i'm gonna just kind of get some work done um tidy up a little bit i need to work on some lesson planning maybe do some activities for the week and um see what's going on just kind of see what's going on and i'll check back in with y'all later bye Okay, y'all, so it's the end of the day. I'm actually in the car about to get out, and um, I just wanted to come out and end this vlog. It was actually a pretty good day. Everything went smooth. Everything went as planned. Um, I did stay after school because we had a staff meeting, and the staff meetings usually lead to um, uh, end at 3.30, which is contract hours, and we can leave at 3.30. But me and my teammate, we stayed and did some um, planning for this week for our centers and just like just different stuff that we have going on. Like we have um, the MCAS too. Our students need to take that starting next week. So we try to get stuff together for that just to kind of make sure that they know how to use or help them use a computer and then just kind of like some general information that's going to be on the mks so we don't we're not preparing them for the mks but we're prepping them as far as letting them know what how that questions are asked because this is so totally new to them so totally different a lot of them just won't know and so we're just trying to like just get them ready to understand what the test is how serious it is what the steps they need to take to you know do well on the test and we, we've already been teaching information so hopefully they're retaining something like in Saxon we've already been over LOG and today this week our letter is H so if they don't know anything my hopes and prayers is that they will know LOG and H and the sounds they make but um you know it is what it is so we've already been covering a few things so you know how that goes we'll see what the test holds what the test results are um and then we were just uh just kind of like prepping just in kindergarten well, i'm sure in any grade i've um i've only taught uh second grade pre-k special education in kindergarten and i promise like all those were like the lower grades it is so much prep work for the lower grades like oh it's just so much prep work especially because some of them come in not knowing anything and so you have to meet them where they are and then some of them come in knowing so much information you have to just keep pushing them and keep keep motivating them i don't know it's just so much it's so so much so we've just been prepping for just the school year just in general then of course it's september so we're doing our new monthly theme this theme i think i this month i think our theme is like five leaves or something and then uh we have a memorize and recite plan at school it's supposed to help them uh have uh help them with their memory when they're memorizing different things so when they're memorizing different things so for example in the lower grades we do poems and so the hope is that when they go to the upper grades that they're uh they will have a strong memory base i guess so that they can memorize facts and then uh like math facts and then we 
did our math mania and math mania is something we do every tuesday morning and if they make them 100 they can wear jeans and so we uh the office grades the math mania but they give us the coupons so we went through and wrote their names on math mania so it was just just work just stuff to keep your classroom running and um got all homework done for next week so i'm really happy about that and as you can tell i'm so tired like i'm so oily i am just ready to wash the day off so i will talk to you guys tomorrow and i hope you all have a good evening and see you tomorrow bye good morning y'all it is uh september 6th 2018 and it is such a gloomy day like we're supposed to have like a tropical storm hurricane something come through and it didn't it just rained all yesterday and then rained today a little this morning it's not raining now the sun is actually out but it's so hot and humid and it's just like it's like so draining and so i'm already like ugh. like my room is so sticky i feel sticky i don't know it's just something but so this morning has been so good so far um it is 9 oh seven so we already had our reading block our reading block is from nine from eight to nine and that went good and of course we do sex and during our reading block i did want to show you all the centers i did yesterday and um my teammate and i we were talking and she only does two rotations a day I'm learning to, I'm starting to love centers and the idea of them being out there for an extended amount of time while I have really time to do my assessments and do my one-on-ones and do my small groups and do my teacher lead. So I think I'm going to push centers to for like two hours. And of course our centers are like 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So. If I do two hours worth of centers, then that is six. Uh, then that is six centers a day, which yesterday went really, really good. But the only problem with doing six centers a day is I have to come up with uh, additional activities for like the students who finished that center or that activity. Then they need something to do for the next day. So I'm gonna get ready to show you what we did yesterday all right so our theme uh oh so our theme is uh well now it's like fall leaves on uh what is it pumpkins and fall leaves i have to look on my thematic unit but we in we did this farmhouse because it kind of ties into um fall time and it ties into the apples and the farm animals and just different things like that and then now with the fall leaves and so we did our um what is this our puzzle i'm like what am i talking about we did our puzzle and that was for this table then over here at this table they did i got these from um now these are not part of the thing so you know y'all don't get me but this is not part of the thing but it's still good this is a uh, number puzzles and it's by it's monique's world and basically they have the number the uh, unicorn and the hand the fingers and they have to match them up and let me see if i can find one real quick my kids did pretty good with these but i still have some who would rather play than work and so of course i have to you know get on to them about that and they're still learning how to um just how to do centers i mean it's, it's a learning process where is there one here no, it's, just, it's two sets of numbers in here anyway it's a finger and it's one and so you just here it is and so you just match them together and bam that's one and then it's two three four all the way to 10 I think I think it's all the way to 10 but I got that from it's my next world and then yesterday we did a cut and paste oh I got butter fingers today what's going on yesterday we did a cut and paste math sheet this is the one we're gonna do today because they did finish that one from yesterday but I'm gonna show you the one from yesterday this is yesterday so basically they um had to count the dots cut the squares out and glue them 
on the number that represented the dice. This time, they are doing numbers in order. So they have to start with one, then go to two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10. And so, that's gonna be that. Over here at this next center was actually the beads and pasta. Here it is. The beads and pasta, and they just had their name. Right, somebody got stuck up to a bright ones. But they just had their name, and they had to put beads or pasta on it. And I'm gonna show you how they turned out. They actually turned out really good. These are my clip cards, my math clip cards. And so they just, they do need help with this center. So my um, assistant, she really stayed over here and monitored this. Well, she would just kind of walk around with everybody. But we have a hard time with um, what numbers come before, after, or in the middle, and what numbers come next, and things like that. So we're working on that. But then I also have these cards where all I have to do is count and then choose the number. And I, I have some that still needs help on that too then i have my handwriting center yesterday we did g because that's the letter of the week so i need some time something to put in here but okay that was one of my students and she i try to be as sympathetic and compassionate you know as i can for these students because i have a son too and i know they're so tiny they're trying to filter all these emotions and they just have so much going on i was like what is this this is water sprinkler they have so much going on they trying to get a hold of themselves but she just um she's she's a loner well she's a triplet but she's a like a like she's good by herself like she's just she's a loner she's good she's she doesn't have to be in the crowd she doesn't have to be with a friend she's like her own person and it is so good to see that but then she is also very loving and nurturing and and just caring and she wanted to stay and i'm like no you can't stay baby because i really after i do this i have to go and get some serious stuff together what i was showing y'all but she is just so sweet and she was just like but i don't want to go with them they going to pe i want to go i want to stay in here and she and like i kept her one time and i guess that's why i messed up because she was just like i don't it was really recess and they went outside and um it was hot and so i don't want to make them go outside if she really didn't want to and then she said she starts to itch because the grass and the sun whatever and i know that's the real thing and so i was like girl that's fine you to stay in here and she'll just stay in here and she won't bother me or she won't be like talking to me or getting on my nerves or all in my face and nothing she'll just be over there playing with the blocks or playing with play-doh or just doing her own thing but it's like she wants her 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 me time to do her thing and today i couldn't give that to her so i walked her down there and i explained to her you know stay with the class today you know we'll try to if they go outside tomorrow you can stay in you know just trying to work with her because like i always say you have to meet these children where they are and so if that's not what she necessarily wants to do then i try to make other accommodations without um interfering with my schedule so I, I try to work with the students and this is kindergarten they are still learning that it's not all about me 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 and we have to work as a team so we're, we're still getting there we're still learning but she is a really a sweetheart she really is anyway back to these students i was showing y'all so these are the uh like this little girl she finished i don't hate to be walking all over this stuff but like she finished and it's just beads i don't know if they're gonna last or how long they're gonna last i might recycle them because i did me one and um it was it was easy to these beads are easy to come off so this is the one with pasta his look really good too and so I don't know they look really good but a lot of them didn't finish some did some didn't so that's gonna be the other center if they didn't finish this, this then I would let them get the blocks or the play-doh or the come to the reading center something like that and then I think that was it then I had my center and I think I'm gonna open up my technology center open up the computers because they just need uh, some help with uh, they need some help. It's so gloomy. Like, all my, all my lights must not be on. 
It's so dark in here. Let me turn out my lights on. But they just need some help with using a uh a computer and a mouse because we do take star like I've been saying or the MKS or whatever. And uh you know the babies just can't use Woo, that looks better. They just cannot use um a mouse quite right quite yet anyway i said i was gonna do outfits of the days i am so like basic today like this is nothing fancy at all so i'm not even gonna put it up on well i could still put it up still be a team player and put it up on the uh shelf i just got a gray t-shirt on um just a comfortable gray basic shirt basic tee and i got these red pants from Old Navy. They're just some basic red pants. Um, I'm not, I don't know the cut of them. I have to look at them. And then I have my, I can't even see, my Coach Black Loafers on. And these are like a staple in my wardrobe. I mean, like hands down, Coach makes the most comfortable loafers. Um, so that's it. Got my Pandora bracelet on. And my Alex and Honey bracelet and silver hoops and of course my ID and that is it. Wedding ring, that's it. Nothing fancy schmancy. Actually, I woke up pretty good timing today, but I was moving so slow and I'm pretty sure I was moving slow. I like I I, I contributed to the to the weather. Like it has to be this weather that has me like so blah 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 blah. What is that off of? Uh, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> I love that movie. But that's what I'm thinking it is. Um, I'm not feeling as bad as I felt yesterday. And I just didn't feel bad yesterday. I just didn't have, I had like zero energy. And I even drunk coffee and I still didn't have any energy. And so I like could not like vlog yesterday. I just, I was just like, ugh, ugh. Not today. No. Leave me alone, camera. Get away. So, anyway, that's that. I'm trying to think. I did bring my lunch today, and I have like a lot of water. I think I'm not drinking enough water. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I know water is so essential. So, I brought like four, uh, <laughs> four, <laughs> four bottles of water today. And then my son has a cold. And so, y'all, and I, I, <laughs> I just laugh at myself sometimes because, all right, so I was looking for this detox bath. And, I, and, you, and like, I used to give it to him like once a week anyway, but I just kind of like ran out of the stuff and just didn't do it anymore. So I gave him a detox bath last night. And it was cool or whatever. It's like a regular bath itself. It was well. It's not a regular bath. It's, you fill the tub halfway over water. Use half a um, half a cup of Epsom um, of magnesium flakes or either Epsom salt, um, baking soda. I think like two tablespoons of baking soda, and um, you can put like essential oil or whatever you know you want to, or coconut oil, something like that. And so what I ended up doing was just doing the Epsom salt and the um, and the baking soda and then when he got out i put the i put i oiled him with coconut oil anyway so he did good last night but i was thinking i was like well i'm still gonna give him a little cough medicine and you know just a little tylenol because he said he had a sore throat and like his throat is sore he doesn't have strep throat or anything but because he can't breathe out his nose he has a stuffy nose he breathes out of his mouth and so then constantly breathing out of his mouth causes his a sore throat and so i uh rubbed him with a little uh nighttime rub or whatever you know just to kind of soothe him then my little ditzy self, I was still like okay well just give him a little cough syrup just to soothe his coughing and whoop de whoop whoop y'all this cough start made this boy so hyper. And if you see my other vlogs where he's in them, he's already on 10. So just imagine him on 10 times 10. He was on like a thousand, well, which is a hundred, but he was like on a thousand last night. Then he finally went to sleep. Okay. 
I'm thinking, cool. He's sleep. We're going to get a good night's rest. This boy wakes up at 2.30 in the morning. And he's just like, talk, like, like it's like 6 o'clock. He's just talking. And he's like, hey, mama, what you doing? Where's Grammy? I want to go in the living room. And I'm like, it's 2.30 in the morning. Like, what are we doing right now? Like, stop. And so, like, the, the medicine makes him hyper. So, I can't give him the medicine, like, at night. And I shouldn't have done that. And so, now I'm running off of, like, a couple of hours of sleep. You know? A couple of hours. It's cool, though. I'm not feeling bad, though. Anyway, I said all that to say this. I got so much stuff to do. I didn't even do lesson plans last night. And lesson plans are due today. So, with that being said... No, that's not what I was about to say. I was actually about to say I'm not uh, taking in enough nutrients and vitamins and minerals and different things like that. So I took me a detox bath last night too and I brought me some water. I thought about it when I looked up in my lunchbox. And when I went to the store last night to get the stuff for the detox uh, bath, I uh, found Amy, and I love Amy's soup, but I found this Amy's Organic Soup's Lentil Vegetable. Yo, I'm gonna eat this for lunch and like tear the cafeteria up. Like I love this soup. And so I'm just excited. Like I'm just really, really excited to be eating this for lunch because I have not had a just good solid um lunch all week. Last week or because I need to go grocery shopping. But I just hadn't had a good solid lunch. And so I feel like this that's another part of me that's always burnt out toward the end of the day or like just not on track. It's it's my eating. So I need to do better by myself. So I had an apple for breakfast just because I needed some on my stomach. And then I'm drinking some coffee and I eat my soup for lunch. And I'm hopefully it'll fill me up where I won't be hungry. But we do have fruit um and vegetable days that we had this grant from um I'm not really sure where it's from but we get fruit and vegetables and so if I need something I think we have bananas today and I love bananas so I just eat a banana but that's all I wanted to talk to you all about um I hope you all have a good rest of the day and I will check back in later bye hello so it is the end of the day um I think it's like almost 240 yeah 245 and i am just like so tired i'm about to go like it's, it's a wrap for me my head is hurting i don't even know why my head is hurting and i'm just like so tired i don't know i'm so freaking tired um i need to plan for what do i need to plan for next week most definitely need to plan for next week but i can do that later i'll do that later um right now i need to i need to just make like a to-do list i need to plan for next week as far as like my centers and stuff i want to do my center activities um i want to do different center rotations i want to i need we, we got our ef car yesterday so i need to go to uh i'm not going to walmart because walmart does not honor the uh tax exempt uh like rule that we have and i just don't have time to be fighting with walmart this year last year i did and it was a hot mess and they just they they wouldn't you know they wouldn't do right so this year it's a no-go for me it's a no-go for me um tomorrow is friday i'm really excited about friday we get to wear jeans tomorrow although i might not even wear jeans tomorrow just because sometimes jeans are uncomfortable like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, for the kids, they have fun wearing jeans. But, like, for me, sometimes jeans are like, I don't feel like wearing it. So, it is uh, getting close to progress report time. I need to turn on my, um, close my blinds. It's getting close to progress report time. So, I need to get my progress reports. We have to order our progress reports. Um, because they're like carbon copy, but I had enough um, report cards, so I don't need to order any. So I started up my report cards. Oh, it's raining again, y'all! This weather, look. Can y'all see that? It's 
not even showing up on camera, but it's raining. And look how gloomy it is. Oh, it's so gloomy. So I'm leaving early today, actually. And y'all, you know these pop ums I'm still thinking about putting them up over here, up over my uh, up over my um, like walk in walkway. So that's that. Um, I Saxon tomorrow. All of this. I need me a dry art drying rack again because. I don't think I finished t telling y'all what happened with our drawing rack. I got it from a pre-K teacher, but the pre-K teacher uh, wasn't intending to give it away. And so, she, uh, she like asked for a bag. Whatever. Anyway, so my uh, library is currently closed simply because this is where we put our papers to dry. And so, this is what we did today. This, um activity right here they had to color the frogs and put them in uh, numerical order some of them still had finished their name like Daniela she hadn't finished her name Jose hadn't finished his Rory hadn't finished his so we're gonna finish sinners tomorrow Bailey hadn't finished you know what I'm Bailey hadn't finished hers so we're gonna do all that tomorrow but I just wanted to come on and just end today I am so thinking tired like it is unreal how tired I am and I don't know maybe I need to take some vitamins or something I don't know I just don't know what to do with myself so I'm trying to think is there anything I need to tell y'all I'm so tired I can't even think right now so tomorrow is Friday I am looking forward to that just because it's the weekend and I get to just breathe again just breathe again. So anyway, y'all have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so I was getting ready to walk out the door and I know at first y'all couldn't see it. I real still can't see it. But it's raining even harder now. I need to go home. I'm glad I was walking out. Okay, bye y'all for real. Bye. This look like hurricane weather. And we were supposed to have a hurricane or tropical storm or whatever. This is what it looks like. I'm ready to go home. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today is not Friday. I didn't vlog any yesterday. It was just a super busy Friday for us. And, um... I was going back and editing and stuff. And I didn't close out the vlog. And so, I just wanted to have... I'm gonna sit you right here while I'm driving. So, I just wanted to have like a small little recap of this week and just um just kind of reflect on how the week went and what I might do different next week or you know just different things like that. So, as a whole the week the week went really well. Um Saxon lessons went really good. Of course, it was a short week. So, we had a lesson per one lesson per day and usually we um don't have a lesson on Friday because it's only four um it's only four lessons per week per letter and we do a letter a week so that went really good that it was a four day week and we had four lessons um friday i did get a little behind just because um it was so much going on and i didn't even finish my sex and lesson and i had to finish it during that reading block i didn't finish so i had to finish it later so next week the um my main goal is just time management. Just making sure that I am on schedule, on time. I am doing the things I need to do at the right at the right time. Um, and just just time management. Just make just making sure that I have everything I need, and I don't need to um, you know make any copies or anything or figure anything out. Everything is done ahead of time, so everything can flow easily. And these love bugs are going absolutely bananas. Like, we're bothered with love bugs down here. And, like, they don't bite or anything. They just are annoying. But, for the most part, the week went really, really well. Um, I'm trying to think. It was something else I was thinking about. Oh, I, I did implement um, numbers in my classroom. So, each child has a number. And so their number will go with their cubby, their number will get to go with their spot on the carpet, and their number will go with their mailbox. So I'm doing that. And next week we are starting um, 
No, we're not starting because we've been doing sinners. But I'm actually, uh, I'm slowing up on my assessments. And we do the MCAS, of course. But I am going to be um, pulling students in my, to my center, like, as a whole, like, as a group. Because lately I've just been doing, um, lately I've just been doing, this car trying to go. A couple students at a time, like some students that um, need help with name practice or just like really, really low basic stuff. But this week, I'm going to actually try to get with those students who are on grade level so I can push them in, into reading because um, like after the first or 16 lessons, they're technically, I guess, I mean, However, you know, whatever you consider reading. But they're technically reading because we have, uh, or they're reading of the word log. And they should be, and now they should be able to read the word hog. So they learn L O G, the sounds of L, the sounds of O, the sounds of G. Then they put it together and they spell log. Then they learned H. So now they're spelling hog. And our um, next letter after H is. I'm not sure yet because I hadn't uh, I hadn't done the lesson plan, so I I'll see what the next letter is. But the letters build on each other so they can start um, making words and build building words and reading words. Anyway, so I think this week went fairly well. I did just want to come on and um, end the vlog. I am all made up because I'm going to my cousin's wedding and I don't have any lashes or. <laughs> any lashes or um, eyeliner. I don't know. I have liquid eyeliner. I don't like putting liquid eyeliner on the bottom, la on my bottom um, lash line. It just, it'll run in and it'll start to burn and I don't, I don't feel like going through that today because I have done it, but I just don't do it anymore. But um, I just need like a stick eyeliner and some lashes. And so hopefully I could just go to the dollar store and pick them up real quick and come back and finish because it's already four o'clock and the wedding starts at six. And uh, you know, you're not supposed to be late. Even though I be late to mostly everywhere I go, you just still don't need to be late. So anyway, that's that. And can y'all tell I'm feeling the foul vibes like I don't know what, man. I was gonna do like a neutral lip, and then I was just kind of like, bump that, let's go dark. <laughs> and I went like hella dark, but whatever, I like it. Like, I'm like, I just need my lashes because I feel like my eyes are like so bland. And that's another thing, like, I don't wear like a butt load or a ton of uh, makeup to work. Now, most of the times I do like eyebrows and, um, my foundation, a little blush, something like that. Um, you know, just depending on how I'm feeling, depending on what time I wake up, you know. But I do like getting all dialed up and dressed up and stuff like that. And so, when I have that opportunity, then I do it. So, yeah. So, anyway, I just wanted to come out and um, end the vlog here. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to come out and end the vlog here. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.